Let's go fishing. What's going on, bro? Let's do this, man. Go do some fishing. Oh, yeah. Let's catch. Let's cook. Let's do it. Hey, Pops. Hey, son. Ready to go? Oh, man. I'm ready to eat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm out a winner on this one. <laughs> we'll be cooking them up out there. I see big reds ready to go. Yes, Let's do this. Water's looking really clear today, guys. Already several boats out on the water. Let's get going. All right, guys, we've rolled up to the first spot. I have tied on a bomb jiggity jig, handmade jig made by hand. My good friend Tyler makes these. I'm gonna put a link in the description below because he actually makes and sells these. This particular jig is called the Fiery Phoenix. It is a white body with red and white uh, tail. And we're gonna throw this down to start the day off for the perch. All right, so check that out. That is exactly what we're looking for. Look at that big old pod. That's going to be a mixture of perch and maybe some crappie in there as well. That's what we're looking for right at about 20 to 30 feet deep. All right, bomb jiggity away for the first cast. Got it. Oh, just missed him. Got him. Fish on. First one. Nice. Perch, right what we're after. Look at that bomb jiggity. Yeah. But that's about a 10 inch perch right there, guys. Check that out, guys. Perfect. That's a nice fat perch, too. That's what we're after. First fish of the day into the live well. Oh, there's one. Guys, they're just getting it when it's just sitting there. You don't even have to jig it. This is my first crappie as well. In fact, I foul hooked him right oh, in the, the side. Chin. Right under the chinny chin chin. Kind of a small tyke. Again, I'm looking for a pancake. This is more like a, not a pancake. <laughs> Pretty fish still though. Bringing them out of the deep. A bluegill, a bluegill. look at that. Look at that. Oh. Big fatty bluegill. This is it's kind of a bonus fish. It's the trinity, isn't it? Pops, nice. Nice with crappie of the day. Yeah. Here. Oh. That was a, that was a sturdy. I like that when the sturge will start hitting the jigs. <laughs> There's no other time of year like that. Alright guys, check this out. We've barely been here. We already have a nice live well full of fish. Ace got a bluegill as well, so that's kind of a bonus fish. So we're doing good. Good start to the day so far. This is called, these are those Idaho peacock bass. You can tell by the yellowness. That's look definitely that. a male. Definitely a male peacock. Mm, they're look yellow than the other ones. Ooh, look at, see when those fins go up, that means they're angry. There we go. Dude, that's a big crop. Look at that. Wilder. Guys, check that out on that fiery phoenix. It's really crazy because the bite is super light. I'm not even hardly jigging it. It's just, you see a rod tip sitting there and all of a sudden it's, your rod tip will just like do that. And you can just feel them load on. Biggest crappie of the day so far. Comes right out, right into my thumb. <laughs> Alright gang, so we've just moved spots. We've got a nice mess of crappie and perch and a few bluegill. And my dad actually caught a trout that I didn't get on video because I'm a goober. So, we're going to clean a couple of these perch up now, and we're gonna get them marinating in our sauce for a few hours before we cook them. And I'll let me show you the sauces we're gonna use here in just a second. 
check that out. Flayed it right up on the side. That's our big one. Look at that. A nice perch fillet, boneless. All right, guys, so we have those fish fillets right here. Now, what I'm gonna do is to start off, we are going to use Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. We're gonna put those fillets in little Ziploc bags like so. Two Ziploc bag, two nice fillets right there. And then, open up our hot wing sauce. You're gonna dump it right in. A generous portion. Close it up. Remember, if you get any hot wing, wing sauce on your fingers, don't rub your eyes. Now we got it in there. Gonna make sure that wing sauce gets all over the meat. And then, we're gonna let it sit for a couple hours in that and soak up the sauce, marinate. Perfect, just like that. That's what we want. Now, I also have a couple other marinades I wanna use. Next, I have an island teriyaki marinade sauce, and this actually has a little bit of pineapple in it, and there's some sesame seeds in it. Now, this isn't like a normal teriyaki sauce. If you've watched my channel, you guys know what this is. This is like a nice, thick teriyaki sauce. We're gonna take a couple of more of those perch fillets, drop them into this Ziploc bag. Again, another generous portion of our marinade. We're gonna have all kinds of options, so we're gonna find out which one we like the best today. But I'm really excited about the hot sauce one. A little spicy perch action. Again, just move that sauce around all over those fillets. Boom, another one ready. And last but not least, our last two fillets going into this Ziploc bag. And you guys, if you've watched my channel, you know I love this Caribbean style jerk marinade. This is a really go-to one, but I haven't used it with the perch yet. I don't think I have anyway. We're gonna go generous portion in there like so. Move it all around on those fillets. Make sure they're sitting in that sauce because the sauce is the boss. Boom. And that's our third and final one. Now we just stick these in the cooler for the next couple hours. Keep fishing. And then when we're ready to eat, we'll have fish already marinated. Guys, guys, I just had my jig down there. And I just, on, on the flaming, or on the fiery phoenix, it's like a two pound smallie. I just dropped it down. I was just about done. I was about to say, well, let's go do something. And he just floated it on. Look at this, Tyler. Hey, bro. If I can lip him. Look at that. Maybe not two pounds, but a pound and a half smally. That's what I was fishing for. You got on a crappie jig? Yeah, on a crappie jig. That fiery phoenix. Well, that's fun. Bonus fish. Woohoo! Got one. On the bottom. I marked something big down here. And uh, I think it's another bass. Whoa, there's a good run. Yeah, another bass. They're smally. On that fiery phoenix again. Woohoo! Just load it on again. Right in the corner of the mouth. Uh, if I can lip him, yeah! A little smaller than the last. Bomb jiggity jig. You're on the bottom? On the bottom. Just load it on like those perch are. Just really, really light. Just kind of thump. Nice. You'd go in the live well if you're in a tournament. Guys, it was crazy because I marked there was something like a big something on the bottom. And sure enough, like 10 seconds after rolling over it, I catch that fish. I wonder if we marked that fish down there. All right, guys, check this out. Ace is getting ready to clean a nice medley of fish that we've caught today. Nice joint effort. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna pull those fillets that have been marinating for a couple hours out now. We're gonna get those out and start cooking them and just a little bit of butter, a little bit, actually it'll be a lot of butter probably, um, and a little bit of salt and that's it. That's a pretty easy recipe today. I'm hungry, it's about supper time. We're getting close to it. Let's get cooking. As always, our nice little setup, little propane cooker. That way I can cook this right on the side of the boat. Got our nice skillet here. We'll get this lit up. All right, here are those fillets that have been marinating, all three of them. We've got our teriyaki. That looks good. Then our 
Jamaican Caribbean jerk. And then that spicy one, which I'm really try excited to try. Let's give this one a go first. Let's get him in the pan. Pan feels nice and warm. Now we're just gonna take this butter. Oh, that's plenty warm. Roll it across the bottom there like that. Perfect. We'll take those fillets out. Look at that hot sauce. Lay them right in there. Ooh, I can smell the spicy. And another one. Oh yeah. Pour a little sauce over them. Just a tiny bit. There we go. So those fillets are pretty thin, so don't want to overcook it. So we'll go ahead and get this guy flipped. Looks good. What are we getting a strong, spicy buffalo smell coming off of these fish. Really interested to see how these are going to taste. All right, those look about done. Go ahead and pull them off. Don't want to overcook them. Woo! Check that out. Let's give it a try. Buffalo perch. Mm. It has the proper orange color. It's been marinating for two hours. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna get in on that. I'm not used to the combination of buffalo and fish. Whoa. But that is really good. That's not overpowering. Ow. I wonder if you cook them that way, if it, if it takes away some of the spice. Yeah, it's not very spicy at no. all, actually. If you cook Frank's Red Hot Sauce, you cook a lot of the heat out of it. Mm-hmm. Really delicious. If you like the buffalo flavoring, mm -hmm. that's really good. It's like a mild buffalo flavor. Yeah, I like it that. It actually be a little bit more spicy for my taste. Yeah, definitely. Right? It could definitely be more spicy, but that's not that's bad. good. On to the next one. Round two is going to be that teriyaki marinade. We have our pan cleaned out. I'm going to go ahead and add some more butter. A couple small ones, not very big. A little salt and pepper on this side. Alright, pulled those off. That looks delicious. Round two. Check that out, guys, right there. Mmm, that is really good. That picked up that teriyaki marinade. I don't know what it is with teriyaki flavoring, but man, it sure does permeate fish really well. That's good. Now let's move on to the third and final one. A little butter. Just like so. These are those Caribbean jerk marinades. I think they're going to be uber tasty as well. I haven't had anything so far that's been nasty or that I would not eat again. Go ahead and flip these guys. The nice thing about these is they're so thin they cook fast. They so can get to eating faster. <laughs> All right, and done. Pull those off for the third and final round. These are like on like courses, courses of fish. That also smells and looks delicious. But let's give it a taste. All right, pops, you ready to try one more bit of fish? Absolutely. Here you go. It looks like it's good. Mm -hmm. What do you say? That's good, boy. I don't know if the teriyaki is better or this is better. Ooh. That's really good though. Mm -hmm. That's really good fish. Nice. Fun. Fresh right out of the mm -hmm. reservoir. That's Doesn't amazing. get any better than that. Another good looking piece of meat right there, guys. Definitely like a more sweet flavor. That Caribbean jerk. But it's all really good. I'd eat all three of these again. I do it again. Um, you guys, you can't go wrong. It's really personal preference. So give each of these a try. You won't be disappointed in any of these. Guarantee it. YouTube fam, late fall, early winter, perch and crappie fishing is fantastic. Get out, throw it down if you haven't already. You need to give it a try. Hope you guys enjoyed the recipes today. Give those a try as well. What's going on behind me? I'll find out later. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.